Hi crafters, Karen here from Karen's Crafting Company and in today's video it's all about the April 2023 sheet load of cards. Here we are in a new month with a new sheet load. This month's sheet load is all about using your 6x6 papers with no scraps from those patterned papers. Now before I get into the sheet loads and share with you my cards Remember to click on that hashtag that you see in the title and that will take you to the collaboration team of and to see their videos. And YouTube has been a bit wonky lately so if the hashtag does not work there will be a playlist link in the description box so you can go ahead and click on that to take you to the collaboration team's videos. Alright the April 2023 sheet load again is all about the 6x6 papers. And the great thing about Crafty L Sheet Load is her uh, template and her instructions are very easy to follow. And so she will tell you the supplies that you need as far as your papers, and she will tell you how many cards you will yield uh, in uh, each sheet load. And this one is you get six cards. And if you don't want to make all six cards, she will give you the dimensions for just one single layout. She also gives you alternatives on how you can modify the sketch. And then on the uh, second page, uh, she gives you all the cutting measurements and the guides that you need to cut down your papers appropriately. She shows you how to cut the pattern papers, your card stock, and then she also shows an image of the card bases that you would use for the sheet load. All right, so let me show you the paper pad that I used uh, to create my cards this month. I brought in the Park Lane paper pad. It is 12 sheets, and there are three sheets of each of these patterns. And I thought what I would do this time is, because there were 12 sheets, I thought, let's use the entire paper pad. And that's exactly what I did. This is completely empty. So I am happy to tell you that I used all of these pattern papers. So I was able to get a total of 36 cards. Super exciting. Also, I did use this uh, stamp set called Blessed by Close to My Heart. And I brought in uh, the sentiment that says, if I had a flower for every time I thought of you, I could walk in my garden forever. Now this stamp set is a retired set. And typically what I tell uh, subscribers is that if, it's, if it interests you, you can always check eBay. All right, so let me share with you my set of cards for this month. And of course, I did use a butterfly for an embellishment. Uh, I brought in my small butterfly from a uh, Sizzix uh, set that I have. And uh, these are the, the floral patterns with the butterfly and the bird, along with this uh, light purple uh, paisley swirl type uh, pattern paper here. And then again, uh, these are the rest of them. Uh, so I do have all my sets here uh, that I'm sharing. And uh, what I wanted to show you is uh, with the card base, because it is a uh, gray color, I went ahead and inside all my cards, I layered it with uh, the Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock, and then I brought in some washi tape and I layered uh, the inside. And uh, I was able to finish this roll. Uh, actually, I ran out of this roll uh, by layering the cardstock. And then what I did was I uh, brought in um, another roll to finish up the other uh, papers uh, for the inside. All right, and then for the music notes and this pretty teal cobblestone-like uh, pattern paper, I went ahead and I created uh, these. So I have the 
patterns with the music notes and that cobblestone paper. And then again, I did the same thing. So what I did is because of music notes, I uh, wanted to find like some type of encouragement um, sentiment. And what I did was is I used my Cricut to cut out the guitar. And then I also used my Cricut to write out the uh, sentiment. And then on the inside, I did the same thing as I did with my other papers. I layered it with the Nina Solar White 80 pound, and then I brought in some other washi tape uh, to layer on the inside. And uh, those are my cards for this month of April. Friends, this wraps up another video and I hope it has inspired you to grab a bunch of your 6x6 papers and uh, try the April 2023 sheet load. And um, again, you can get a copy of the sheet load from over on uh, Call Me Crafty L's YouTube channel. You do have to be subscribed to her channel in order to get the free template. Until my next video, friends, I hope your day is a crafty day. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.